Hey, how's it going? Uh, we are continuing the series where we're taking a look at some of those companies out there currently in the market. It's Sunday, we're looking at finance, if anything. <laughs> let's let's stick to finance. There's a lot of other <laughs> things might be worth to consider, but currently let's stick to finance, right? And some of those companies out there, which I personally believe are worth taking a look at, if anything. From there, do your own research. This video is for education and entertainment purposes only. So do your own homework, right? I uh, have covered Germany, Italy, UK, and now we're taking a look at uh, France. Uh, <laughs> this current company, that would be Dassault Aviation. And let's take a look at this company and what this company does. The name of the company is Dassault Aviation Industry. Our space uh, location of the company uh, the Salt Aviation is headquartered in Paris France so that's uh, information that I was able to find let's take a look at the company's website and I'll try to take on all information up there from the company's website uh, the Salt Aviation is a French aerospace company with pro uh, proven dual expertise in manufacture of both military aircrafts and business jets so it's something that the core competence will cover creator of more than 100 prototypes in the last century with over 10,000 aircrafts delivered to 90 countries so it's something that they are focusing on i have seen some of those and uh it seems like they're doing very well i don't know it's it, overall uh, it's something that they focus on where other companies that I cover would focus on different areas. I don't know if people are following what I'm trying to uh, take a look at, but yeah, there's uh, different companies where the core expertise would uh, vary, right? Depending on the uh, from company to company. The Salt Aviation is a French aerospace company that shapes the future of design and build of the military aircraft, business jets, and space systems. A uh, major French national defense partner, designer, and builder of uh, refer multi role fighters capable of handling all types of missions for both air forces and naval air arms. Uh, designer of the Aeron combat drone built by European partnerships. Designer and builder of the Falcon family or business jets recognized for their handling. Uh, qualities, operational flexibility, low fuel consumption, and elevated solutions. But uh, either way, that sounds like a pitch. I'm not supported. <laughs> I'm not supported by any of those companies, right? <laughs> so perhaps those companies are gonna have a lot of work. If anything, I would like to bring everyone's understanding. Perhaps those companies would have more work to do compared to perhaps if you are a bakery, right? <laughs> Looking to sell a lot of bread, right? So some of the companies perhaps would have a lot of orders. If those companies would be able to deliver those orders, if uh, they have uh, necessary skills, facilities, or um, even materials, right? So there might be a lot of obstacles there. So if anything, I'm just looking to understand a little bit more about some of the work and how they potentially can ha handle some of that work. And uh, I'm, just, I'm looking at some of those companies out there for the first time, right? Perhaps I know a little bit more about UK companies, but not that much about the rest of the Europe. <laughs> so for some reason, I'm going to be co covering some of those companies only based in Europe, but not necessarily limited to uh, Europe. But some of the US companies are performing very well as well. Uh, yeah, let, let's summarize uh, perhaps companies' profiles. Uh, expertise in numerous of technologies that are key of strategic auto autonomy, something perhaps they should focus on. Pioneering digital technologies and behind Katia team and the 3D CAM CAP systems that have became global standard. Creator of more than 10 or 100 prototypes in the uh, last century. So 100 is okay, I guess. So I would prefer to measure that 100 based off not necessarily creating those, but perhaps potential and how much of those uh, prototypes actually capital. Well, so we can measure the overall performance of how much the uh, capital company managed to uh, overall uh, generate, right? With over 10,000 aircraft delivered to 90 countries, as well as 2,100 Falcon jets and services, as well as 1,000 fire fighter aircrafts and services. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. So it depends. Uh, perhaps a little bit cheaper compared to uh, fighter jets, and not necessarily each one is about 40 million or so. 
uh, so it depends what kind of fighter jets they're talking about. Since I have seen some of the fighter jets out there in the market, uh, which is way, way, way cheaper perhaps compared to against what's standard, right? As well as this company has over 12,000 employees, of which 70-80% is France. So it's, <laughs> it's an international company, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of interesting, I guess. If you would ask me, uh, my personal bias, there's so much information on the company's website for people who are interested in reading all of that. There's a lot of giants up there. There's some of these companies and overall the, how all, all those companies are, how well perhaps those companies are run. Uh, if it's something that you yourself, you're not necessarily interested in building your own. Perhaps you're interested perhaps in supporting and helping some of those companies there or you're looking to put your money or resources, talent in a good use. Perhaps you would like to work with some of those companies as well. Either way, so I myself am more interested in, <laughs> in some wild people up there who are looking to establish or perhaps uh, build their own companies with some of those industries, right? So how uh, <laughs> they can enter different markets, if anything. So some people out there might be interested in setting up their own companies and doing that. Well, if anything, perhaps you might be interested in understanding some of the players out there within different markets and it's something I'm looking to cover in more detail in, the, uh, in particularly in the, <laughs> in the videos that I'm making today. Uh, the way how all information is written, I prefer do not read any of that information. <laughs> because it's like a sales pitch, which is great about the overall company's performance, how much work they have and everything. There's so, so much information, so, but it would be more like a sales presentation. So I prefer to not read any of that information and instead of uh, perhaps data, uh, I prefer to make my own assumptions, right? Especially when I presenting all the rest of the companies up there. But this particular company, <laughs> so it's perhaps been translated into English and the, the way how it's been presented to all information is like a sales presentation, right? So because originally perhaps that would be presented in France, right? But now <laughs> if you're interested in investing, so uh, I'm not supported by any of those companies, feel free to reach out to me. Perhaps we can do some business together. Other than that, <laughs> this company is performing very well. <laughs> If anything, some of the things that I'm interested in, it is something that I covered already about the Italians and some of the aerospace companies in Italy and how they carry out a competition where they look into six different universities and get people more interested in UAVs or as well as it seems like France and in particular this company is doing the same thing. Let's take a look at a competition that they have done. Uh, look back at the Dassault Aviation UAV Challenge uh, in 2023 this year and the launch of 2024 edition. So potentially next year we're going to have a similar competition. Uh, so there, photo of the joint winner of the uh, sixth Dassault Aviation UAV Challenge Inter School Competition. So to perhaps they are, it's, it's an ongoing thing and people are there. I'm not entirely if it's national as well, but perhaps uh, is it in UK? I, I, couldn't find anything similar like that in the UK, but perhaps there's a similar uh, competitions happening, but either way. Uh, there are some pictures out there for people who are interested, uh, take a look at the website, but it's something that they do with between two and six students per team and per school, the competition brings into play a wide range of skills, RO modeling, automation, programming, electronics, machine learning, project and team management. Some of the skills that they're looking to develop as well as perhaps uh, having opportunities for uh, people getting involved and then it comes to manufacturing and delivering of the projects. After several weeks of selection, more than six months of design, development and testing will follow, followed by two days of live team competition in May, as well as unique and immersive day for the lucky winners with the Dassault Aviation teams. If you are interested, but perhaps it's not necessarily, it's, it's not outlined what would be within the scope if uh, can, everyone can enter. But well, either way, either way, so <laughs> my personal understanding perhaps is just limited with that, uh, within the universities, or not necessarily companies, but perhaps only individuals who would like to take part in this competition. But either way, if you are interested, feel free to reach out, or perhaps there are some opportunities there. If you are interested in uh, developing yourself and learning more, I have published a book, a game strategy. In this book, I'm sharing a lot of information. Uh, if you would like to learn more, whatever cycle you might find yourself in, if you're currently doing a lot of research, 
if you have taken action and you have progressed into starting and launching your own company or if you have access to a lot of resources and looking perhaps to invest in different companies whichever cycle you might find yourself in there's a lot of information for you uh, to help you to better understand how the process can function as well as how you can uh, be successful in doing research, understanding how business can <laughs> work, as well as how to make sure that the projects that you have started to be successful. And hopefully, the, uh, if anything, this book can save you some money and time, if anything. You can find it in the description below, as well as Top Guys has this book. Uh, just to summarize today's video, uh, this particular video, uh, that would be uh, I cover a number of uh, companies, uh, most of them working with defense and or offering a lot of value to different uh, uh, people who are interested in new technologies. Defense, there's a lot of opportunities there. I have covered a number of those as well as if anything, I would like to make it more interesting so there would be some takeaways. And uh, within this organization, they have a uh, competition if by uh, yourself you feel like you're up for a challenge, uh, feel free to reach out to them, see if you can work together. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.